We got a plan. Oh, look at that. Actually, we got. Huh. That was way easier than I thought. Okay, well, um, I know it's been a little while since I've been able to post or do anything with the channel. I'm saying. I know it's been a while since I've been able to, um, post, upload, or do anything with my YouTube channel for a little while, but I've had some, a lot of stuff going on at home and just a lot of things going on. So, um, yeah, welcome back. And I just want to first off say sorry, it's just been a while. But I'm glad that I'm going to try and be posting and streaming a little bit more. I'm trying to get back into the editing thing, but when I reviewed my last stream, I don't know what's wrong with my editor, but it must, um, I don't, I don't really know exactly how to say it, but like, export my mic in such low quality, my voice doesn't even sound remotely good, because I listened to that stream and I was just like, who is this speaking? It sounds so good. But, anyway, um... Oh, uh, I just, let's, oh, uh, man. Like, turning up the brightness more would been recommended will break the immersion of the game. So, what? I guess we just go, like, to the max until that warning comes on. So there. Okay, fine, I guess that'll be good. Siren Head Awakening. So, as far as I know, this is the sequel to the game I played not too, too long ago. And I, now there's nothing that really leads to that. It's not actually in the game saying, hey, oh, this is a sequel or even the first one saying there's something else coming out. But the first one was a demo. And this one, I think, was released like five days after that one. I, now, I could be completely wrong with that, but I think it was like um, it was released on the 15th and this one was released on like a 20th of something. It could have been months, even years, but I'm pretty sure it was like five days. So let's check out the options as always. Uh, controls, because that's what's important here. Oh yes, now let's just make sure everything's running smoothly because if it's not I'm just gonna kick myself. But um Alright, everything looks good. Everything looks good, everything looks good I think. But yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, so again, this is like I, I like how this actually just says "look" as if I couldn't figure that out for myself. But um, what's really like I have I have no intro because I've never really done an intro. So let's just go and get this. <laughs> All right, great experience. Harder Siren Head difficulty. Siren Head is more active from the start. Flashlight uses batteries and limited stamina. I guess I could probably... I guess normal. Um, yeah. Let's do normal. Just kind of start it off. If this goes really well, uh, I'll come back and do like the hard, maybe in the custom kind of thing. But um, I'm just going to start with just normal, like how the game is supposed to be played. But here we go. Whew. Prisma Game presents Siren Head Awaken. Ooh, dark. Darkness. Red. Sue. Ooh, so scary. Oh, it's so scary. So scary. Yes, it's so scary. Friday, March 21st, 1997. Intro. Welcome to Siren Head Awakening. You find yourself in the middle of a dark forest with nothing but a flashlight. You must find four car parts scattered across the mountains to repair your broken down car and escape. You know, this sounds like something I've seen before. Anyway, due to physical limitations, you can only hold one car part at a time. Finding car parts among other items is also seems to anger Siren Head, the beast that lurks in the shadows. Siren Head. So let me read that last paragraph one last time before my brain just kills itself. Finding car parts among other items also seems to anger the beast that lurks in the shadows. Okay. There's four of them. <laughs> Turn that quality meter all the way down, huh? Anyway. Stamina is an important part of your life when sprinting through the woods. You're very vulnerable without it, so use it wisely. Your flashlight is also a valuable tool. Be sure to turn it off when you hear a siren head nearby, or else you'll be hunted. While being hunted, it's a good idea to find shelter while running away. A siren head cannot reach for you when you're inside a building or vehicle. Use what you've learned and try to escape. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Oh, I should have turned the most sensitivity up way much. So, I see some... Oh, boy. So I have a flashlight. Uh, is there like a specific way I'm supposed to? Oh man, the flashlight goes down. That's really not great. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Nothing about this seems even remotely interesting. Uh, 
Uh, do a, wait, uh, is it like a car? Oh, there's something here. Like, is it like a car that way kind of thing? Or am I really lost in the woods? Oh man, uh, let's turn up my volume some. Because I do not want to be surprised by this thing at all. Anyway, this is a bus stop. Yes, I'm saved. Ooh, something. Is that my car? That's my car. Uh, let's just walk down the road. Because, I mean, what are the... Ch Ooh. Apparently pretty good. There's something here. My stamina. I have so much. That's another bus stop. That's fine. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't really know what to do. I've never, like this is a very low, um, I guess like low publicity game. Like I've never seen anybody else play it. I'm pretty sure no one else has. Because judging by the last one, I can't. I don't think it's going to be too too long. Or with all due respect to the game, that good. But um. Uh, I'm starting to think I might be a little screwed here. What are these concrete blocks doing here? And this driver had all the road to go down. Wait, is this a tire? Uh, how did I pick up tires again? Hold on. Uh, options. I just gotta see the pickup. E is used. Tabs inventory. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, alright. Uh, controls. Sensitivity. Jack it up to like three. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Resume. There we go. Tab. I need a gas canister, a battery oil canister, and a spark club. Also, notes. That's interesting. But yes, now my sensitivity is good. Something there, and I don't like it. Hey, why are there so many broken down cars here? Some train tracks. It can jump. Oh, wow. I like the fact you actually go down, like you um, go down before you jump, because that's like almost realistic. Looks like they use the same car texture. That's fine. Alright, who am I to judge? I'm not a video game designer. Okay, so this is the invisible wall. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, let's explore down this. Just so that way, like, I have, like, a bearings of where in the world I am. But I do know that, uh, reading the little thing, I don't think Siren Head spawns until I get the first item. But there's something that way. So, fortunately, or with any luck, it'll have something here. It's a train car. And I don't know how I didn't guess that, but, uh... Garbage bag. What you got for me? Garbage bag? Nothing? Okay, that's cool, too. Um, what you got in here? Boxes? Anything? No, no. No, let me F the boxes. I want to F to use the boxes, even though the key is E. F the boxes. I gotta F them all. I'm just looking into the darkness for anything. I don't want to keep having to look up with my foot. Ooh, trail. That might be something. So I'm trying to think of all this rationally, like, if the game devs, they, like, obviously they would just want somebody wandering around their woods for five and a half years, just finding nothing, because that, like, that'd be too hard. So they're going to add little clues, I imagine the roads and the railroad tracks were something. Okay, so this must be shelter, and I got a survival note. Oh, oh my eardrums. Okay, one note. Whew. Can I zoom in, text only? I'm lost and scared. I can't find where the others are. They said they were going to check out some place for shelter. I stayed I stayed put in a rusted bus. I heard a monstrous, horrifying sound from the distance, towards my friend's direction. I can't help, but I feel that death is coming. I must find my friends and get out of here. S seven. What does seven mean? Are there more? There's not more. Okay, so... Okay, one. I see one down there at the bottom of the thing. Do I have to actually, like, do I have to find these notes? And also, did that count as an item? Because if it did, and I start hearing my siren head, I'm going to be very irritated. Um, ooh, something. I'm just looking for literally anything at this point. Oh, it's the bus stop. Crap. Wait, did I miss this? If I miss this, there could be, there had to have been. Oh, what's going on? I don't. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh my gosh! No, it's coming. Uh, oh no! I, that was so. Uh, holy cow! Yes, that does count as an item. What happened? Where are you? 
I didn't even see. Oh my gosh. Hey, don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Do, 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 do. Where's my bus? There it is. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to let you guys catch your breath for a second. Ugh. <laughs> Okay. No. Just. No, I don't. No. Oh, great. I'm lagging now, too. That's nice. I hear something. No, 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 no. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Don't worry. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not. I'm really not here. I'm not here. I'm not here at all. I'm not here. I'm not even close to here. Sorry, here. If you have epilepsy, I'm sorry. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear anything. You know what's kind of dumb? The thing I got Siren had to come kill me for is a sheet of notebook paper. I'm gonna go over to the baby setting in a minute. Just gonna stick to this and hopefully Siren Head doesn't come and give me another heart attack. Cause genuinely that was terrifying. And I mean that was horrifying. Cause I didn't even see him. I genuinely did not see him. And, like, until I turned around and actually, like, stopped and took the glance, I still didn't see him. So, and plus, it's not really helpful the fact that he just started screaming at me. No, 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 Wait, what? Oh, what? What? I did that. Wait, what? What? Uh. The booming footsteps come closer and closer. It's blaring sirens that deafen the surrounding environment make your legs leak. You feel a lift from the ground. Your body is frozen in fear, frozen in time. Your escape was cut short. The sight of Siren Head has you trembling to the core. You realize, even in the midst of chaos, you are going to die. Well, that sucked. Okay, uh, I guess I'll try it again. I'm glad I wonder what the difficulty because it's on hard. <laughs> Oh, man. Use your flashlight only when necessary or the batteries will run out. I feel like I should try hard mode, because why not? Background winter. Ooh. I don't know. Okay, let's play. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go, like, super hard mode, because why not? I'm trying to find cover in various structures where it can't reach you. Okay. Well, I... I I gotta learn about the game some more, because I don't really know, like, what to do exactly. Okay, I got batteries. Okay, I see something over there. Okay, note to self, start coming this way next. What's up? Um... Yeah, whatever. Gonna take an intermission, be right back in just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Again, family. Anyway. So, I realize now that this is a really bad idea, and what do I even need? I don't need a tire. I keep seeing tires, and I think I must... Ooh, I must grab that. Wait. This is a gas station. There has to be a gas canister somewhere. Thank you. Got it. 
Okay. So that must that's the death sound of siren head spawning. And again, if you don't like flashing lights, please just this is not going to go well for anybody. Because, like, I'm running low on batteries, and I can't see anything. So this is a door. <sighs> I'm listening for those footsteps. It doesn't help that he looks like a tree. Alright, here's the car. I hate that sound so much. Okay, so I'm just gonna like take a minute here and see, because like I, I I don't know how the beast works yet. This is only my second time ever playing this, but um, the way I think is um I noticed somewhere it said that the beast comes alive once the first item is picked up, and that would be here it is right there. There it is right here. There you hear him. Here he's right there. Holy cow! There he is. I saw him. I saw him for a minute. I saw it. I swear. And I've already used one like, full battery. If you look down there at the bottom right, I've used like, almost a whole battery, and I am not excited about that. Okay, so... Oh, here it comes back. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I've sitting here long enough that he'll maybe just leave? And I can't tell if he's coming or going, really. Do you hear anything? I don't. I don't, I don't like this. Sound. I'm listening for him. <sighs> okay. Started a new battery. So, I have no batteries now. I think I can find some, maybe. Alright, that's a wall. That's a wall right there. So, I'll go back this way. And, uh, see if I can find, like, a trail. But I gotta find cover first. That's the big thing. I heard something. I don't hear anything. What does that sound? Okay, well, the important thing is I do know where one of the things are, at the very least, a spawn location. I keep thinking I see something. Okay, that's a wall. If I can get a perimeter of the area. I'll know, like, just, I can guess where things are. Kind of like Battleship. Look for the dull areas. Man, this is using, like, a lot of my computers, like... Like, my computer's heating up. No, 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 I don't know where you are, 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 tree, 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 tree. No, stop, please. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. Don't, don't, please don't, please, Sprint, don't do this to me. Don't, please. I work so hard for my spark plug. No, come on. Don't give up on me now. Oh, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. Ah, not even inside yet. Okay, so... Um, this game sucks. I hate it. And nothing about it is good. Uh, once I run out of batteries... I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do. No, 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 no. 
Why can't I just stream normal games? Why does it have to be scary ones? <laughs> okay, um... I also don't know where, like, the path it roams. I learned in the forest, all, like, most enemies will have a, like, a path they will stick to. And they will roam that path in, like, patrol routes. So I think Siren Head here might go clockwise around the perimeter. Because right at, like, about similar to this time, I found him over here at this car. So I think if I head this way, I might be able to get ahead of his, um, route. And, but this game is like the forest levels of dark. Hey! Maybe I'll find some batteries here. Never know. Um, uh, open. Open sesame. Please don't do this to me. Oh, I'm almost out of batteries. No, oh, no, 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 no. I don't know where you are. I don't. This is a fence. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I'm about to die. I'm so about to die. I'm about to die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so about to die. I'm about to die. I'm so gonna die. I'm so dead. Everything about me is dead right now. I'm so gonna die. Oh, man. I'm speedy. I'm speedy. Don't do this to me, Sprint. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Just a little bit more. Come on. Don't give up on me. Don't you give up on me. Please tell me this is a place. I'm sorry. No, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please leave me alone. Please. Ah. There was no cover. There's no cover. Ah, okay, I'll try one more time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the little baby mode because this is ridiculous. All right, I tried regular. I sucked. I tried hard. I actually got, I, I got somewhere. I got somewhere on hard. Is active from the start. Okay. After first item, survivor notes do not spawn. Well, that would have been nice to know that they spawned. Does not count towards progression? What does that mean? Now, well, I'm just going to try the baby mode because I'm a baby. And um, I will say one thing that would have been sm Wait a minute. I. You know what? No. Hold on. Get, get out of here. Quit this. Quit. Yes. Exit. I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna try the normal mode because I, to be honest, I, I, I want to complete normal before I do hard, just because um, I want to know how the game works. But I have an idea, and as long as like I, I don't really know exactly how to describe it. But once I, just, if I can just figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do, I can do it easily. So. Um, stamina is a little bit higher here. Gas station is still there. If I find everything first, if I go around and I literally find everything, I don't have to collect it all and try and fight Siren Head as I'm doing all this stuff. So this is the spark plug right there. I'll also find cover, but now that I can use my flashlight to an unlimited extent, that's also helpful. I never have to turn off because Siren Head hadn't even spawned yet. There's the trail. So get on this trail and follow it. I'll run across my little cabin in the woods here. Uh, does this door open? None of these doors open. Why? Is there anything here? Okay. Uh, I was going like this way somewhere. When I ran it, I, f I thought I found like a bus stop or something I was huddled up underneath. I know, like, I realized it wouldn't save me. I realized it then, but, um, I mean, I don't really know. Okay, another trail. That's good. Alright, there's the, there's like the van bus thing. There's a survivor note in here, I'm pretty sure. There's my survivor note is nowhere to be found. Do I have it? I do not. Okay, so that means that like that's now just a cover thing, which is fine. But I think that also means they don't spawn in the same place every time. So let's go over here, check this barrel, because this is what I saw that car over there. Uh tele telephone pole. Telephone wires. That's good. That's interesting. Okay, so this is like a little um, campsite area, it looks like. There's nothing on this car. Um, anything here? I don't really know what that is. 
keep following the wires. Where do they go? There. Boom. Oh, that's the train, isn't it? Yeah, that's the train. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Uh, let's go up here, see if there's anything in here. We have the spark plug, and that's good. But that's a guy to remember. I can only carry one of these things at a time. So I really gotta pace out my journeys. No head in the spot. Okay, I think this is also another cover area. Let's go back this way. And go down this road. Which I think will lead to a house of some sort. Because there's telephone poles. Or telephone wires. It only makes sense there'll be some kind of house. And I think the train tracks are kind of like an unspoken mon- There it is, a house right there. But some kind of monument that says, Ayo, don't go past this, nothing there for you. Oh, yes. If this house doesn't open up, I'm going to be... I'm just going to cry. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying on the inside, man. Oh, I'm so... so it's, like, it's like a neighborhood. Of nightmares. Anything on the car? There's a wheel back there. Do I need that? What did I just do? Oh, it's sprint, sprint. That's fine. Okay. None of these houses open up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But, um... Is there anything here? I don't know how you're supposed to do this with Siren Head coming after you. But that's another wall. Um... I'm starting to see, like, this game was actually rated worse than the original one. And I'm kind of seeing why. Because where the original one was very, like, direct and to the point, and there was no real aspect of wandering, except for me being an idiot, having to look through all the towers, trying to F all the ladders. Um, it was kind of... It, it was very straightforward, and I admire that in a game. I like that in a game. I don't, I don't like this wandering around doing nothing feel. Even though it's very... It's interesting seeing, like, the world generate where me just having an actual sense of being lost. Um... It's just... I like, I like action games, you know? It's just not my thing. Anything back here? Nope. Or at least, like, a map I could follow. Even if it's hard to get to places, like, and Barrow Trauma, all my things are very to the point, and I can figure out where I'm going because they give me everything I need to. But the journey itself is really, really difficult. But then again, that game is made around the journey, so there's not very much else to it. But, um, if I can't find anything but this spark plug, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> is there like a map? Is there like a map? I have to know. Controls, forward, right, oh, come on, I'll work them here. Uh, use flashlight, inventory, sprint, jump. Look, there is no map. That's cool. That's great. I don't even know where the car is anymore. And these games have actually been in my uh, Steam wish list for like a couple of months now. Is this the gas station? Ugh. But um, for a couple of months now because I never really got around to playing them, and I kind of see why. Or I can very clearly say I really wasn't missing anything. Huh. So it's this way. Wall. Wall. I like how they put all this stuff fenced in as if somebody like owns this property. We're just playing like a hunting ground. It's pretty funny. Or they somehow like this little five foot tall fence keeps in Siren Head. I think that's pretty funny. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be trying some new like streaming kind of. Yeah, just things because doing the editing where I'm gonna continue to edit certain things. Um, I I don't have time right now, and once I actually like once everything calms down with transferring new school years stuff like that. Once it all calms down, I'll be more than happy to keep going back and editing videos. But until one, I actually get better at it. Two, I do longer games that require editing, and three, I become boring. Um, then I'll probably get back to that, but as of right now, I think I'm doing pretty okay filling time. You can always tell me, but I mean, it's not like I have very many people who even watch this anyways. I don't think I have one full viewer yet. If I do, that'd be pretty funny. Uh, wait, oh man, I just knocked my mouse. I was just relaxing until my mouse just decided to go haywire. Got a house! Ladies and gentlemen, we found the neighborhood. 
Again. That's cool. That's fine. Why are there so many crashed cars? And why do they all have, like, this one door open? Can I... There's literally a path out of here. Can I not just walk? <sighs> Whatever. There's gotta be something in this neighborhood. I refuse to believe there's not. Yeah, I don't know how you're, what you're, like, how you're supposed to complete this with Siren Head chasing after you. Oh, it's just supposed to be like a trial and error thing. Or you're supposed to remember exactly where you've been, where you've got to go, and you're supposed to do it multiple times. But, I mean, I need a gas canister, a battery, and an oil canister. Why do I need an oil canister? Is my car been low on oil? Seems like a me problem. Okay, back on the trail. I guess or I could just keep looking around. I mean... It just seems like it's weird for this all to be here. They spent so much time constructing it, and they didn't add one house you could go into, or one thing, like one collectible here to pick up. That, I think, is really astounding. But, uh, well, back to walking. Sprinting, I mean. Okay, here's another wall. Here's another corner. So, up here should be the train somewhere. So, see, like, then my entire duration of playing this game, I have only found one survivor note, and... This is the wall. Oh, it's a tree. Nice. Anyway, I've only found one survival note and the spark plug. Things do not bode well for me. But I will say, um, I do, I'm glad I realized that, um... So you don't have to, I don't have to keep fighting uh, Siren Head. I could just look for things before he comes after me. Which is nice. It puts me a little bit of, like, it gives me a little bit like a piece to not have like, to constantly look over my shoulder or just sit here in the dark. Which is something I was like, and you know, I don't know, there's some visuals make an interesting stream. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give high quality content when it literally looks like I'm not just putting enough effort into it. I'm trying to, but it's just hard. Yeah, we got new floors in our kitchen recently. That's pretty cool. Went from like a a really boring, kind of really bright yellow linoleum, kind of had like sandstone tiles in it, um, to like this more um, smoky stone kind of look. I like it. But um, like we like, like our, it turns out that like, the boards up underneath the linoleum had rotted, so we kept falling like almost falling through the floor. Anyway. But for what this game is, I think it's really well designed. <sighs> I say there excuse me, there are a thousand things that could be improved on this game. Like one making objectives more clear. I, I bet if I probably like probably if I followed all of the trails, like just this whole thing would be a lot like simpler or easier, but I've kind of been wandering around for like I don't know, like 30 minutes now. And this is just getting ridiculous, quite frankly. Alright, I'm kind of giving up on just circling this thing. I'm going back to the trails. Maybe I can find something. If not, I'm just going to end the stream. Uh, we got the train car again. Yay! How great. Who knows? Maybe this game was never finished. Okay, yeah, there's like this just not much here. I don't even know where the trails are anymore. There's one. Yeah, I've already been on this one twice. There's my van. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the gas station, pick up the spark plug, and let Siren Head kill me. Or unless there's a survivor note in here. There is not a survivor note in here. Let's just check down this way once more and just see if there's anything here. Did I backtrack? Or is there more than one train car here? Albania. Car battery! Hey! We got something else! I have some source of hope now. 
Okay, let's just, so we got the two out of four, two out of four, that's okay, two out of four. Wait, there was a trail leading to this, so I think if I just stick to the trails, I might find something. See what's this way. Probably a wall, but you never know. Nope, splits off. What's this way? Maybe it's the whole segment to the map I haven't discovered yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already been here, but whatever. Let's go in. Unlock bunker. Ooh, code. That's interesting. Okay, uh, might want to actually st like, I don't think I want to start actually making trips yet. Because, like, I, would, I have no idea how you're supposed to do this on hard. Like, without knowing exactly what to do, where to go, how to get there. Is this another bus? I uh, hope, oh. I think I know, I think I've pretty much already read this one, and um, I don't really want to activate Siren Head yet. So we'll just—I'm just gonna close this door if I can. Yeah, close that door to kind of mark I've already been here. And if I keep, if I go in circles, then I won't follow this trail anymore. But this trail is over, and I'm not going back into the woods so just willy nilly. So bunker is this way. That's interesting. We have a bunker, which means I also need to be on the lookout for a code. I'm pretty sure this didn't exist 45 seconds ago. Oil canister. Okay, that's three out of four. Um, I think this is also the battery train, so I can just get two real fast. Assuming I can even make it back to the car, because I have no idea where it is. Uh, this is not the battery car. This is not the battery car. Okay, that's interesting. Um, oil canister is here. It's important to note. What do I need? I need the gas canister. Just... I'm deciding whether it's a good idea to maybe start taking trips. Siren Head spawns in on first pickup. So, hmm. Let's head back this way. This is... should be back towards the bunker, I believe. Okay, I'm lost. I see something over there to the right. There's the train car. Huh. Here's the second bus. Okay, there's more than one bus. Which is kind of sad. Uh, how long have these buses been here? Why are they boarded up? Where'd they get the boards? Okay, there's the clothes. I just want to see. Is there anything, any note hanging from any ceiling or something like that? No. Okay, so I'm going to leave that open. Just to say, hey, yo, oh, I've also been here. Just kind of distinguish between the two. But um, I believe that's all the time I have for right now. Pretty sure this game doesn't save, even if it does, there's no I haven't really done anything. So things to note. The batteries in the train car, spark plug in the gas station, which I can get to very easily. Um, that'll probably be the last thing I get. Is that another train? No, this is a bus stop. So that's the road. I think the reason these are here to guide you back towards the road. I need a fuel canister, is all I need to find. It'd be pretty funny if they were at one of the bus stops. But um that's what I have right now. 
that oil canister is going to be a little difficult to find. And this is the good old car. So as far as I know, there's like nothing that way at all. But yeah, so I think that's, I'm just going to call it here for right now. And say, well, um, thank you for watching, if any of you decided to. Um, this, game, this game is confusing, to say the least. Uh, it has an interesting premise, but I don't... I don't know, it just... It doesn't seem like it'll be like very fulfilling, because once you get the car gone, you're kind of just gone. Uh, the bunker is interesting. I don't know if that's the fuel, like, where the fuel can is, uh, gonna be. Or if that's just, like, a bonus thing. Maybe find a survivor note, some story to Siren Head, or... But it's just... Things that don't... It just doesn't make sense. Like, the, the town. What was there? Why was it there? Because in the town, there's gotta be something there. And this music is allowed. So what I'm gonna do is this right here. Uh... Get out. Exit. Okay, there we go. But it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, still, thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate it. It just doesn't make sense. And I'm just going to ponder this for a while. Um, goodbye.